What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple and efficient automatic Minecraft Bayrock Hoglin farm. This farm works on 1.20 and on all platforms of Minecraft Bayrock, whether you play on your phone, tablet, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, or PC. By the way, this is an improved version of my previous Hoglin farm. As you guys can see here, this farm allows you to quickly and easily get a lot of cooked pork chop and leather. For this farm, you'll need two chests, one lava bucket, nine hoppers, two stacks and 22 glass blocks, eight dirt blocks, eight warped fungus, four stacks and 41 wooden trap doors, about 11 stacks of solid blocks. You can use any type of solid block you want except for solid blocks that burn. A couple of examples of solid blocks that don't burn are smooth stone or cobblestone. And finally, some stacks of slabs. By the way, the amount of slabs you need may vary depending on where you make the farm. The first step is to go to a lava lake in a crimson forest biome. You can tell a lava lake is in a crimson forest biome because there should be these red particles. Once you're at a lava lake in a crimson forest biome, go somewhere near the center of it. To do that, build out with solid blocks that don't burn. Once you're somewhere near the center of the lava lake, make sure you're still in a crimson forest biome. You can tell you're still in a crimson forest biome because you should see those red particles. The reason you need to be in a crimson forest biome is because hoglins only spawn in crimson forest biomes. The next step is to build up about 45 solid blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. After you are done building up about 45 blocks, go back down to the ground. Now place ladders from here to the top of that pillar. These ladders will allow you to easily access the farm. By making this farm above a lava lake, you will not have to cover as much area with slabs to prevent hoglins from spawning below the farm. The next step is to place two blocks over here, and two blocks on this side as well. Then place six blocks over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then fill in the island with blocks. After you have created that platform, go over here. Now count two blocks forward. One, two. Then place two chests over here. Then crouch down and place three hoppers over here. Make sure the nozzles of those three hoppers are facing that chest. Now crouch down and place three hoppers over here. Make sure the nozzles of those three hoppers are facing that way. Then crouch down and place three hoppers over here. Make sure the nozzles of those three hoppers are facing that way. That will be the collection system in this farm. It's important that all the hoppers are facing the correct direction so that the loot is funneled into this collection's chest. The next step is to place a solid block at each of these spots. After you have done that, crouch down and place 9 glass blocks over here. Then place 3 blocks over here. Now extend that 3 block high wall all the way around until you get to this spot. After you are done with that step, place a solid block at each of these spots. Now place 20 solid blocks over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. After you are done placing those 20 blocks, go back down here. Now place 20 solid blocks at each of these other spots as well. Once you are done with that step, the farm should look like that. The next step is you place a solid block in each of these corners. Then place 7 solid blocks over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now go to this side. Then place 7 blocks over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then go to this side. Now place 7 blocks over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Finally go to this side. Then place 7 blocks over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. After you have created that outline, fill it in with solid blocks. After you are done with that step, the farm should look like that. The next step is to create a one block high glass block wall around that platform. Once you are done with that step, extend that glass block wall up by one block. After you are done with that step, the farm should look like that. 
The next step is to go to this spot. Then count six blocks forward. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now break this block. Then place dirt over here. Now plant a warp fungus on that dirt. After you have done that, go over to this side. Then count six blocks out over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then replace this block with dirt. Now plant warp fungus on that dirt. Now repeat doing that on those two sides as well. After you have placed that warp fungus, place warp fungus in each corner. The warped fungus will cause hoglings to run into the kill chamber. That is because they are scared of warped fungus. After you are done with that step, the farm should look like that. The next step is to go to the center. Now place three trap doors over here. Then open them. Then turn to this side. Now place three trap doors over here. Then open them. Now place a trap door over here and open it. Then place a trap door over here and open it. Those trap doors will cause hoglings to walk into the kill chamber. That is because hoglings see trap doors as full blocks. The next step is to place a trap door over here. It's important that you place the trap door at the correct height. Then continue placing trap doors until you have filled in the roof. Either way, you need to crouch to place a trap door in front of another trap door. These trap doors will prevent piglins from spawning in this farm. That is because the piglins are too tall. After you're done with that step, the farm should look like that. It's important that you place all the trap doors correctly. The next step is to break these two blocks. Now go over here. Then place lava at this spot. As you guys can see there, that lava should flow like that. It will automatically kill all the hoglins and cook all the pork chop. Now replace these two blocks. By the way, don't worry about the lava burning the items because the items will get collected by those hoppers then funneled into that chest. The next step is to place 5 slabs over here. Now place 5 slabs over here as well. Those slabs will prevent mobs from spawning on that area. Now place a slab at each of these spots. The next step is to cover all blocks within about 50 blocks of this platform with slabs. By the way, you don't need to place slabs on the blocks under the lava. By placing these slabs, you will prevent mobs from spawning on these areas which will cause more hoglins to spawn in the farm. I am now going to do a quick fly around so you can check and make sure you've made this farm correctly. Over here there should be the kill chamber. Up here there should be the hoglin spawning platform. Finally, all blocks that are within about 50 blocks of this platform should be covered with slabs. How this farm works is, whenever you stand on this platform, hoglins will spawn up there. Once hoglins spawn, they will get scared of warp fungus and walk into the center. They will then walk into the kill chamber because they see trapdoors as full blocks. In the kill chamber, the hoglins will get automatically killed. Their drops are collected by those hoppers and funneled into the collections chest. I am now going to show you how to use this farm. To use it, first stand on this platform. Then just wait, hoglins will spawn up there, then walk into the kill chamber. They will then get automatically killed and their loot will get funneled into this collections chest. This farm is a great quick and easy way to get a lot of cooked pork chop and leather. If this farm does not work for you, make sure you cover all blocks within about 50 blocks of this platform with slabs. Also, try setting your world simulation distance to 4 chunks. You can do that by leaving the world then going into the world settings. If you don't want to set your world simulation distance to 4 chunks, cover all blocks within about 130 blocks of this platform with slabs. I hope you all enjoyed learning how to make this simple and efficient automatic Minecraft Bayrock Hoglin farm. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other Minecraft videos. Thanks for watching.